I was in Cambodia recently with AIM, Agape International Missions, doing a great job battling human trafficking. And we were in an area where AIM is looking at doing a bunch of ministry in the future. They are doing phenomenal work in Cambodia. And we saw so many people at nighttime, all these ladies uh, along the side of the road in front of uh, karaoke bars, all these other kind of places. And they were getting ready um, to be available for the evening with men in my heart literally was crushed because we're talking about 70 80 90 women on one night in one area and it was absolutely overwhelming to think about man how do you make a difference when there are so many people that are hurting so many people broken so many people yeah, in this difficult situation and it brought my heart and mind back to what's going on in Modesto right here at Shelter Cove uh, and Luke chapter 15. Luke chapter 15 uh, it says that Jesus left the 99 sheep and went after the one. Uh, he didn't leave the 80 and go after the 20. He didn't leave the 90 and go after the 10. No, he left the 99 and went after the one and that was a reminder for me that life transformation always happens one person at a time. And so how is God working here in Modesto? It's one person at a time, one boy, one girl, one man, one woman, surrendering their life to Jesus Christ. How is life transformation going to happen in Cambodia on the other side of the world? How are these women going to get rescued from human trafficking, sex trafficking? It's the same way. It's going to be one woman at a time by the grace of God. And I say that to encourage you today, be a difference maker today at work, in your community, uh, wherever you're at, as we reach people with the good news, the gospel of Jesus Christ, one person at a time.